Hey guys, yes, we are doing an automatic to manual transmission swap on a 1997 BMW 328i. This is the same for all of them basically. Uh, in today's episode, check it out. We're going to be installing guys, the master cylinder, the slave cylinder, this hose, this little metal hose, which is also very important, and the clutch pedal, guys. That will be covered in today's episode. This one is an automatic, as you can see right here, and we're gonna add a clutch to it. Not very complicated at all, guys. All the holes, everything's already there, guys. Um, I was originally gonna do it all in one episode, but it would just be too long, guys. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do probably five or six episodes on like doing this conversion. So this one will cover the clutch pedal, the master cylinder, and the slave cylinder, and the hose, guys. Let's get started right away, everybody. All right, so yes, I do got a lot of stuff out here. I am reupholstering the interior, doing electrical, things like that. So in your case, you wouldn't have to have your carpet out or anything. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is install this uh, metal line. Um, so one side has a rubber O-ring on it. So that side uh, is gonna be inside of the car. And this side here is gonna go underneath. So if you look over here, guys, see these holes, even though this is an automatic, this car, see it already has the holes. So this hole here, see there's your brake pedal. You have to feed that line in from underneath and have the part with the O-ring coming out right there. Let me show you under the hood. So there's the front, obviously. So right here, under this uh, steering coupler, we'll call it right now, see? You're gonna run that line underneath it and maybe you can see, let's see. See, and you're gonna have to get it. It's kinda gonna be tough, guys. So you're gonna have to go all the way in there. Um, and poke it through the inside there. Um, also see right here guys, on the standard cars, there is a little bracket here, which on the automatics, it's not there. Let me go show you in my parts car, guys. So this is our parts car. I took the manual transmission out of this car. I have a very detailed video on all the stuff that you need for a swap. So check out the description for a link. You should watch all of them in a row, honestly, if you want to do this right. But in this one, I'm just covering the pedal, right? Uh, so right here, see, there's a little bracket, which is probably about the only different thing on the car. See, it doesn't have that bracket. So we can get away without it. Uh, maybe we'll rig something up, guys. If I would have known about it, I would have cut it out and welded it on, but I'm not too worried about it. We'll figure out a way without it. Okay, let's start feeding that thing in. So the first thing you want to do is just put tape on the end of these so you don't get like dirt and stuff in there. So I'm going to tape up the ends. Okay, there it is all taped up. So the way you're going to put this in is see right here, you want to kind of feed it in underneath. See that steering coupler, right? Underneath it. Uh, I think it goes over top of that line. You kind of got to play around with it. It might take you a while, see? Something like that. Okay, we're going to go inside and see if we can fish it out. Okay, so there it is. As you can see, we got it through, right? So now, like just for... You do whatever you want in your car, but I'm grabbing a utility knife and some of this protective sound barrier stuff. I'm going to get rid of it. See, like it just it's really hard it just gets in the way it's all falling apart anyways so i'm just gonna cut up over top of this hole here so i'm like that i'm just gonna cut that right now okay see there it is cut way way easier guys um so next okay the master cylinder guys so there it is right um what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these things off and we're gonna put them into those holes in the firewall. See, one there and one there. See, this all looks good. You can reach up there. There's room. Okay, I'm gonna put those two things in. 
Okay, so we got the one in. It was easy. This one, the other one, I actually kind of like how it's stuck on the hose. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna like connect the back of this right into that hose, run it into that hole, and then we're gonna feed this hose up into that hole and it should come out around your brake fluid reservoir. See, you're gonna be hooking it up to this. You're gonna have to cut this though at the end because it's like sealed because this one used to be automatic because the clutch feeds off of the brake fluid like the clutch pedal, right? The master cylinder. So you're gonna cut the end of it off until fluid's coming out. Then you're gonna put that hose on. See, the hose is gonna come out from in there. So that's what we're gonna do, guys. But another thing you gotta do is, like we're, we're not removing the brake pedal. The gas pedal, I just took it out to get the rug out. Um, like relieving all that, you can attach the clutch pedal to this brake pedal without taking it off. See, what you have to do is, see there's a bolt right there that holds, this is a button for when you press your brake, it turns your brake lights on, right? So you have to take this bolt out this will fall off, obviously. Uh, then you're gonna put this back on and you need a longer bolt here because that master cylinder is gonna bolt up to that bolt. And right there, you're gonna have to put another nut and bolt, which there isn't one here because there's no master cylinder. So I will get to that. So I'm gonna take this one out right now and then I'm gonna plug that master cylinder into that hose. Okay, just wanna show you guys, it's not easy in here. So I got this thing up. See, I got that hose in. So we're gonna plug this into that. And then there's a little clip that goes on, right? And then we also still have to put this into the metal there. Uh, but it's, it's good. I'll show you what it looks like up top. Okay, so up top here, see? There it is. I taped it up so nothing would get inside of it. See, now we'll be able to cut this little tip off right just the tip not that flared out part and then slide that on so that'll work um okay i'm gonna go back inside see this is what that little clip looks like so once we get the master cylinder plugged into that hose you have to slide this in and that locks it into place i'm gonna do that right now okay so we got that attached see we got the pin in or whatever you want to call it right so now that can go in there and we'll have to push this back in. I had to pull it a little bit back out. See, we gotta basically line those two up with uh, on the brake pedal here. See, onto those. One and two. I, I can't record this, guys, I apologize. I'm gonna just put it on. I'll show you what it looks like when it's on. Okay, everybody, so, see, we're gonna put this on now. Uh, so the top bolt was too short. We're gonna have to put this thing back in, right? The button for the brake. So that will go, um, sorry, like so, right? So that will go like that. See, there's like a nut welded onto it. So that'll go like that. And then we'll put the long, longest screw we got. I'll show you them in a minute. See right there, somewhere. I'm gonna put one in there, one in the other one, and the other one, is gonna need um, like a washer on, or a, a, sorry, a nut and a bolt. So there's gonna be a bolt right there. See, it even has a shape where it prevents the nut from spinning. Oh, it's really hard access to record this, but I'm doing it for you guys. So make sure you sh like and subscribe and all that. Try my best here. Okay, so this is the one that was in there, see? So they gotta be longer. I took these obviously out of the parts car when I was pulling that stuff out. So that one will go on top. This one will go on the bottom one with the uh, with that. Okay, I'm gonna just put this all on guys. Honestly, this is hard to record. Okay, so there it is installed nicely as you can see. See, I got it screwed in. The hose is attached. That hose is attached or cable or whatever you wanna call it. Um, on this side, as you can see, we got the button attached for the, uh, the brake. Everything's good to go. So now see up here how there's like that, that rod sticking out, this one. 
that's where the clutch is going to go on to right there and then uh the master cylinder is also going to hook up to the clutch pedal let me show you on the pedal that i have out see this is the one i pulled out of the other car see so we just got to take this clip out uh it's pretty straightforward you just pry it open a little bit with a screwdriver it slides off right and then that's that rusted rod that i just showed you inside of the car so this will slide right off your master cylinder is going to hook into there see right into that this pin just slides out see look so you can slide it out put that in there and then slide it in right um so that's how that goes on there's also this part so this part what you're gonna do is first this kind of thing this is gonna go on there see like that that's number one then there's this kind of thing which is gonna go on like this see and then on that uh, there's gonna be a spring which goes on to this thing right and then you're gonna kind of like close this pedal like th that has to go in there with all that stuff the way I lined it up uh, it's hard to show this but I'll show you guys right now okay so I took this off right um, I'm just gonna take this off see so that's what that looks like it does have these um, things like this see so that goes on right there's one on that side too so anyways what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this whole thing inside the car put bearing grease on it put a little bit of bearing grease on all this and we're gonna go put this pedal in so I'm gonna do that right now all right so here's our pedal see we got everything nice and greased up grease this thing up um, yeah okay so basically I mean we're just gonna go in here and we're just gonna slide it onto that rod which I also greased up should be pretty straightforward I mean how am I gonna record that I guess I'm not I'm just gonna go put it on and show you what it looks like on okay so I put the clutch on just this, the way I said I was gonna put it on right uh, I still don't have the master cylinder attached right so obviously that will go there and then the pin will go through to attach it uh, that will go up there just the way I showed you right with the spring and everything I think I can get it in like line it up and just push it in I think that will work um, but I did just realize something guys so the brake pedal on the automatic is different guys look so there's the brake pedal and here is the brake pedal off of the manual see it's skinnier and it kind of goes a little bit over to the right see so I still don't think I need to pull everything out but I guess in this video we're also going to be changing this pedal so I'm going to hook up um, the, the uh, what do you call it thing? the master cylinder guys right here look uh, let me just show you really quick can you see that oh my god there's so no room here um, so anyway see I'm going to put that pin in and then I'm going to lock it on the other side here and that will be attached so I'm going to do that right now okay I put everything in just like I said so now I'm just pushing on it and there we go she's in okay so now all I got to do is I got to put this pin in and then lock it on the other side right for the master cylinder okay everybody well the clutch is installed so we put uh, everything on see we put all these clips on see there it is uh, everything's attached see it works okay now for the brake pedal so I think it'll be easy to take this off so up in here all we gotta really do is we're gonna take that clip off and see there's another one up there so we're gonna take this one and that one off and I believe we can hopefully we'll be able to slide this guy up I'm gonna take those off first and let's see what happens okay so I got the two 
uh, clips off. See, one, two, they're both off. So now I'm just trying to slide this pin out. It will go. You got to kind of turn it so it goes like, see, kind of into this hole. So as soon as I get this out, I should be able to just remove this pedal, no problem. All right, I'm going to need my hands for the, oh, there it goes. See? So I got that one out. So now I can kind of, man, this is the worst camera work ever, but it is what it is. See, that goes over now. There we go. We got it off. So now the exact same way we can put the other one in. And we're going to grease this up. See, one of those plastic things uh, stayed on there. Did it? Yes, it did. Okay, no big deal. Let's get this done. Okay, so here's the two brake pedals. So as you can see, the top part's identical. So everything's the same there. They are different. So, okay, we're going to put this one in the exact same way. Grease it up. Um, I'll go put it in. If anything weird happens, I'll show you guys. Okay, so I got the new pedal in, as you can see. So I got the top in, uh, no problem, see? So I am having a hard time getting this pin in here. Um, so see, what you gotta do is, like there's a switch in the way. So I got it in like halfway. You're gonna have to push it in, see? So it clears the switch. And then once you got it pushed in, I won't be able to do it because I'm recording, right? You're gonna grab this thing with a pair of needle nose pliers, like so. And you have to, well, maybe I can, let's try it. Yeah, I, I don't wanna break the switch or whatever, but. So you're gonna go like this, and then you're gonna twist that straight. So it, uh. See what I mean? You gotta turn it. There's like these little clips that lock in to make it flat with the switch. I'm gonna do it and then I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. Okay, it didn't take long, honestly. So there it is, see you now. So see, that's how that has to go. See, it's flat on the switch. It kind of clicks in, so now when you press it, see? That switch is for your brake lights. Uh, so the safety neutral switch, which is like, you know, when you turn your key, you have to have your clutch pressed in. Um, I will cover that in the wiring wire episode which i will do later guys uh, and there'll be a link in the description so remember i'm gonna do episodes on every single part of converting an automatic to a manual right uh you know pedals shifter knob um putting the transmission and the clutch all the torque specs everything you gotta do and an electrical episode. I'll cover the safety neutral switch, what you have to do to the computer, uh, how you wire up your safety neutral switch, uh, you know, your reverse lights. It's very, very easy, guys, honestly. It's just a few color-coded wires. I'll just walk you guys right through it. Easy as pie. So make sure you subscribe, everybody. Okay, uh, let's keep going here. Look at that, guys. We got ourselves a clutch pedal and a brake pedal. Uh, the gas pedal's inside, no big deal. I'm super happy with that. Okay, let's move over to the reservoir now, up there. So what you need to do up here, I mean, I already kind of covered this, but so you're gonna cut just the tip off of this so fluid's pouring out of it, right? And then you're gonna slide this hose onto it. So that's what you gotta do up here. We're not gonna do that yet. We're gonna do that later when the transmission is installed. Um, because if I do it now, the fluid is gonna run out and make a big mess, right? So once the tranny's in and this here slave cylinder is installed, this is like what pushes your, your uh, clutch inside of your transmission, like your pressure plate. So once this is installed and it's on the tranny, then I will do a separate episode, guys, on how to bleed your uh, clutch pedal, how to bleed your clutch, right? So in the description, there'll be a link to that video. Anyways, so right now, guys, we're gonna go underneath the car and install this thing. Also, uh, we have to do something about that little bracket situation that's missing. Remember when I showed you earlier? There is a little bracket. Okay, I figured out what I'm gonna do, guys. It's gonna work perfect. Okay, so I basically got a washer that's just the perfect size to go around this, see? 
So I'm gonna go like that, and then I'm gonna take another washer, and I'm gonna weld these together like this. Get it? And that will be a bracket, basically. So let me do that right now really quick. I'm just gonna tack it together, no big deal. Okay guys, so we got it made, right? So that's gonna go on like that. And then there's this little piece, which I actually lost. I don't know how I lost it. I bag everything, I label everything. So I just made a new one, right? So that goes like that. And then the line screws in here, right? And that holds everything in place. Makes sense? Just like, just like this, right? See how there's one here? It's the exact same thing. We just basically copied it. So that's what that is. Okay, so I'm gonna go inside the car. We're gonna screw this together with this on, and then we're gonna trace this with the permanent marker onto the car so we know where to tack it onto the car. Okay, so we got this thing on, just finger tight for now, right? So basically, right there looks good to me. So I'm just gonna do a circle with a permanent marker around that. There, just like that. So now we know where to tack this thing on without any problems. See, just like that, guys. Okay, I'm gonna tack this on. Okay, guys, so there it is. It's welded on. I even painted it white. Uh, just remember, those two right there are gas lines, so I taped them up uh, just so no sparks went in there. Um, so that's it there. I'll show you on the inside of the car really quick. So yeah, that all lines up good now. See, that can go right in there. I'll just show you inside really quick. So inside the car, see, this is the weld on the inside right here. So if your rug was in, you might want to pull the rug out just in that corner. Make sure it doesn't catch on fire. Okay, so now you know. Okay, everybody. So now, see, this piece is going to go on top of this like that right like this is gonna go in there like so i'm gonna need both my hands for this but see it goes like that see what i mean and now you're gonna screw in your this thing your uh slave cylinder right there okay i'm gonna put this on right now guys okay so the slave cylinder goes something like that we're gonna like fully fully tighten this hose when the transmission is in because we might have to turn it but i got it basically finger tight so you go something like that um so that's what it looks like there guys i mean it's as good as it's gonna get it's pretty good i'm super duper happy with that guys so there you go there you have it guys all right guys well that concludes today's episode guys make sure you tune into the next episode where we're going to be changing this whole automatic shifter knob right here. We're gonna be changing it from an automatic to a manual, guys. So I'll cover everything in that video. There is a line that goes to your ignition, which locks your ignition. I will cover all of that in that video, guys. So once again, thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe. And honestly, check out the whole entire playlist on the transmission swap i'll have a playlist in the description and a link to all the episodes and if you're really interested in bmws check out the whole entire playlist of the whole restoration of this car interior reupholstering engine stuff brakes you name it electrical check it all out you'll see what it takes to restore a car right from day one thanks for watching problem solver garage till next time everybody Thank you.